chapter 20 preposition learning time a preposition preposition are words that tell us about the relation between nouns and pronouns in a sentence it is placed before a noun pronoun or noun phrases a the book is on the table on shows the relation between the book and the table b i write with my pen which shows the relation between i and my pen preposition are of three main types one preposition of time in at by since from before after etc i reach school at 8 am i'll be there on time two preposition of place in on at, inside, beside, below, above, across, within, etc. Thomas is in the car. Your shirt is on the chair. 3. Other kinds of preposition. Of, for, with, from, of, by, over, etc. Uses of the most common prepositions in, on and at, in, for seasons, in summer, for month, in July, for years, in 2020 for most period of time in the morning to show being inside a place in patna in the kitchen on for days of the week on sunday for special days on my birthday for special dates on 3rd september to talk about communication on the phone to show being on the surface of something on the grow at for specific times at 2 o'clock for meal times at lunch, in some expressions, at work, at peace, for some periods of time, at night, for specific places, at my school, at the library. Teachers note, elucidate that adverb tell more about verbs, ask the student to share examples of each of the types of adverbs. Practice time. The words in color are either preposition or adverbs. Circle the prepositions and tick the adverbs. A. 1. The dog is on the mat. 2. Is the television switched on? B. 1. The show should be over by now. 2. Dolly jumped over the wall. C. I. The bus just passed by. 2. This book is by my favorite author. D. 1. He is hidden under the bed. 2. She picked up the sheet and crawled under. E. 1. Please leave your shoes outside the door. 2. Let's play outside. F. 1. The cat is behind that door. 2. Revise a little every day so you don't fall behind. Learning time. B. Many words can be used as either preposition or adverbs. Don't be confused. Remember, a preposition always has a noun or pronoun after it. An adverb tell us about a verb or an action. An adverb doesn't have a noun or pronoun after it. The shirt is hung on the hanger. Preposition. Put your sweater on. It is cold. Adverb. She walked down the stairs. Preposition. He sat down. Adverb. Practice time. 1. Complete these phrases with an at or on. A. In May. B. In summer. C. On Sunday. D. At the television. E at 8 p.m. F in the future. G on 24th April. H at home. I at his music class. Practice time. 3. Circle the correct preposition in these sentences. A. I have been waiting for you. B. She keeps all her flies inside the drawer. C. The tunnel runs through the mountain. D. The refrigerator is under the kitchen. E. Krishna is at school. F. He is fond of listening to western music. G. There is a bookstall beside the school. 4. Fill in the blanks with suitable preposition. A. We are going on a vacation in August. B. The bone was after the dog. C. Please put the vase on the table. D. I received a present from Natasha. Learning time. C. Since for and for, among and between, since is used for a fixed point in time while for is used for a period of time. I have waited for 4 hours. I have waited since 4 pm. Between suggest two people or objects. While among is used for a set or group, the table is between Ram and Mohan. 
There is a crow among cuckoos. Practice time. 5. Tick the correct preposition in these sentences. A. Please grant me leave for 5 days. B. He is not coming to work since 5th January. C. The girls are sleeping since an hour. D. We share a chocolate between us. E. There is a match between India and Australia. Fun with grammar. Divide the class into groups. Call a member from each group to draw pictures according to the instructions given by the teacher. For example, there is a tree in front of a house. There are two trees behind the house. There is a car in front of a house. There is a car near the house, etc. The students have to draw the pictures within the allotted time.